Okay, we're at the front door. We've walked out. And we come to the house. We knock on the door. Miss Jones answers the door. You stand it back about 7, 8, 10 feet. You're going to say, Miss Jones, hello. My name is Joe. Recently you had sent this card in requesting some free information. That's all I say. I may hand it to you. You walk up to her, hand it. Thank you. And walk back. Not intimidating. She's going to sit and tell you, <clears throat> my house is messy. I don't want anybody in my house. Your first response is going to be, I wouldn't have expected you to have said anything differently. You remind me of my grandmother, my mother, or my sister. You want to make them feel that they're like other people. You don't want to sit and say, what do you mean your house is messy? You don't clean it? You're going to sit and say, I understand. It's no big deal. It doesn't bother me. I kind of feel like I'm at home. I got three kids running around like little Tasmanian devils. She may say, okay, come on in. Or she say, no, 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 no. I don't want nobody in my house. It's a mess. I'm embarrassed. Say, well, no problem. Why don't we come and sit outside? Now, if you went dog on Chicago or you're in Wisconsin and it's 30 degrees, you can't come outside. But yet, you never know. The person might say, no problem. My house is too messy. I understand. We can speak outside. We can speak around the back. Would you like to speak somewhere else? Number two, I've got dogs in my house. My dogs bite. My dogs are vicious. They'll bite your leg off. Now, if you're at the door and you don't hear no dogs barking, you don't want to sit and tell her, I don't hear no dogs barking. But yet, you might sit and be a little courageous that day and say, you know something? Dogs don't bother me. I don't mind coming in. Now, when you see a big old Great Dane or a pit bull there that might want to chew your leg off, I might caution you not to go in the house. Three, four dollar commission is not worth getting bit in the leg and get a big old hole in your pants. Dog in the house, if it's a little small dog, you feel comfortable, say the dog doesn't bother me. I would say the same thing as my house is messy. Why don't we maybe step outside? This won't take too long. I understand. Or you may say, you know something? It's kind of cold outside. It's kind of hot outside. Would you please lock your dog up in a bedroom so you feel comfortable he doesn't bite me so I can give you the free information you requested? Why don't you go on and do it? And you're kind of telling them, go on and do it. Please go on and do it and all that stuff there. It works most of the time. If not, have them come outside. I cannot afford. Boy, howdy. The most amazing part about it is they can't afford it. You haven't even told them what it costs. You haven't even told them what they qualify. What happens is every one of these 12 things here are, I don't want you in my house. I don't know you. You're a stranger. I don't feel comfortable with you. I don't like the way you look. I don't like that shirt you have on. I don't like bald-headed guys. My son-in-law had long sideburns. He was a bad guy. That's how you are. So what we have to realize is that these are just smoke screens 90% of the time. I cannot afford it. See, Ms. Jones, if we can go inside just for a couple minutes, I don't even know if you can even qualify for the program. Why don't we sit down, let me give you some information, see if you qualify, go over some different programs with you, and then whatever you decide to do will be totally up to you. It takes maybe two minutes. It's something I do on a daily basis. and It's unbelievable the amount of people that I run across who say they cannot afford, and when I show them how inexpensive it is to make them feel so good, they end up getting more than what I thought they even wanted.